Hello year three, it's time for column addition. <laughs> now, you've been doing addition which is, takes quite a long time and it takes a lot of numbers and lots of lines, but column addition is much, much quicker. I'm going to show you how to do it. So we're starting with two digit numbers. We're starting with 35 and add 43. Now normally we would take two or three lines to finish this, but we're only going to use one line. And if you look very closely, these two, these two, two black lines here make a really big equal sign. And that means inside this big equal sign we put our answer. And we start with the units place, as we always do. We start with the smallest place, the units place, and we very simply have five units and three units makes a total of eight units. And inside our equals box, we're going to write inside the units place eight, a total of eight units. We'll finish with the units place, we now move to the tens place, and we simply add the tens. We have four tens, add three tens, gives us a total of, you've guessed it, seven tens. And an answer of 78. Now, no matter how large the number, we still go through the same procedure. So, with this th these three digit numbers, we have four units, add two units, gives us a total of six units, which we write inside the big equal sign in the units place, six units. We carry on to the tens, which now have a total of six, add two, makes eight tens. We carry on to the hundreds place with a total of four add one will make five hundreds and a total of five hundred and eighty six. However, it gets a little, just a little bit, a little bit trickier when we come to this particular calculation. Yes, it's two digits, add two digits, but now we have eight add three. <gasps> Yeah, 3 gives us a total of 11, but we can't write 11 down just yet because 11 is made up of 10 and units. So the 11 we write like this, 110, 1 unit. And if you look closely, you can still see the number 11, it's still there. 110, 1 unit. Now, we're finished with the units, so we move on to the tens place. And this 110 is still there. It's part of this place now, the tens place. And we can simply add those together. We have four tens, add three tens, gives us eight, seven tens. And we add that one more, will give us a total of eight tens. Giving us a final answer of 81. And just like before, the number gets bigger, but we still go through the same process. This time, we have 9 units and 4 units, gives us a total of 13 units. But 13 has got 2 digits. It's got 110 and 3 units. So the 3 units, that's fine, comes here. The 110, where's it going to go? I think you know, I think you know, it's going into the tens place to wait because I've not added all the tens yet. I've not got them all together yet. So we add six tens, add two tens, add one ten, gives us a total of 93. But it's very important, you can still see that 13 there. You can see one ten, three units. Nine units, add four units, is 13. It's still there, we can still see it. And finally, adding the hundreds, 400, Add 100 gives us a total of five hundreds and a total of 593. Bye bye.